Now, it's always nice to have things that we can actually look forward to. Our next one, I think you're going to like. One small step for man, one giant leap for Leicester. Three, two, one. A spectacular public art event will blast its way across the city for 10 weeks this summer. It's going to be the biggest that Leicester has ever seen. It's brought to life by an out-of-this-world trial of giant and spectacular rocket sculptures that will form a stunning free art trail through the city. Laura Betts is the Rocket Round Leicester project lead and fundraising manager at Loros Hospice. Laura, good morning. Good morning. What a title, Rocket Round Leicester project lead. (laughs) You must be happy about that, Laura. Yeah, do you know what? It's so fantastic to have something like you say something positive to focus on it's it's really exciting right now so yes yeah really excited about it right who came up with this idea well it's a concept that has been rolled out um in numerous cities around the uk and actually worldwide so we can't take credit for that but it is something that loris have wanted to get involved in for a number of years now um and A couple of years ago, we made the decision that um, we were going to do it in summer 2021 because you you look at the cities around you and what other trails are happening. So we didn't want to do one um, when there was another city in the local area doing one. So we kind of waited for our opportunity and 2021 was handed to us. So we've been planning for the last 18 months for the trail and now just really looking forward to it. I can't believe it's this year. No, no, no. 2021, the summer, the biggest that Leicester's ever seen. So who can get involved, Laura? Well, pretty much everybody can get involved, and that's what's really fantastic about it. So we've been working with local businesses um, for the last few months, getting sponsorship for the project. Now we're very much working with schools and bringing them on board as well. And then it's going to be a really nice um, event and opportunity for families. Um, and, yeah, everybody, you know, from young to old, everybody can come and enjoy it. So it's just, it's just really inclusive. It's fantastic. James Stanley is the Learning and Skills Manager for Creative Arts at North Warwickshire and South Leicestershire College. Morning, James. Good morning. Good morning. What made you get involved? Well, it's a fantastic opportunity, really, for um, students to be involved in something that is outwardly facing um, and it can consolidate sort of the collaboration work they'll do in a competitive way. Um, And especially going into a lockdown now, I mean, we knew about uh, the project prior to this, but we've been able to really be creative with how that could work and how that could suit our learners' needs. So how many rockets have you got, James? We've got four junior jets and one large rocket that we are sponsoring, but the four junior jets will be um, what will be sort of designed and, you know, what we're working with. And what size are we talking here? Just give us a bit of a perspective here. They're about 1.1 metres tall, so they're, they're still quite sizable. Yeah. And uh, what about the pupils and, and, and how they're getting involved? How have they been taking it? So it's obviously it's it, it, they've just changed what they're doing. They've gone into working remotely. Um, but this brief has been really good because they've been able to work on something that will ultimately bring their learning together. Um, yeah, they've, they've responded really well. We've had really good sort of interaction with that project. And learners are coming back with some quite innovative ideas. And Laura, you're still looking for schools to get involved, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we, we're we still looking for schools to t- uh, take on a junior jet. I think what James and the college have done is fantastic. They've, got, they've really taken the brief and, and made it, you know, adapted it that's, so it's relevant for their school. But other schools can get involved in different ways. For example, they don't need to necessarily run a competition. I mean, I love that idea. I think it's brilliant and I can't wait to see the results. But schools can take a junior jet um, and they'll get a resource pack along with that as well that's been curated by... Um, our partners at the Leicester City Council, Leicester City Football Club in the community and the National Space Centre. So there's a wealth of resources there for teachers and it's, you know, it fits in with the learning curriculum. But they can take a junior jet and the idea is that they, whilst they're working on the junior jet and taking part in the project, they're fundraising for Loris along the way.